Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here. In today's software tutorial, uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up to a previous uh, Stripe integration video that I did. So in that video, I covered how to integrate Stripe with software and also how to do a simple checkout flow for a one-time payment product. So some of you actually asked me uh, how to do a subscription-based product instead. So this is the video for that. Okay, in the last tutorial, this is what we left off with. Uh, this is a pricing block that's going to redirect your user to a checkout page. And then this checkout page is basically linked to this test product that we made last time. And then once user pay up here, you're going to be redirected back to uh, your homepage. So in this time, um, just before we start, if you want to learn how to integrate Stripe, uh, make sure you go to the previous tutorial, which I will link here, up here, or uh, in the description down below. So learn that first, and then come back to learn how to make a subscription-based product. So we gonna hide this block, which is what we did last time. And we're gonna add a new pricing block. And then we're gonna use these first. Uh, you can pick any one of these, but I will just pick the first one. Uh, with multiple cards, but we only gonna make one card this time uh, because we are only gonna show how to make one product. Um, as you can see, here's the toggle. This is very important uh, because you do want to, usually you do want two pricing plans under the same product, right? Uh, so what we can do is for monthly price, we're gonna give it 10 per month. And for yearly price, I'm gonna make it 99 uh, make sure you change it here per year. Uh, what it's gonna do, these two prices, what's gonna show up right now, if you are toggled on with a, a yearly plan here, if yearly is toggled on, it's gonna show 99 per year. But if your user toggled monthly on here, it's gonna show uh, 10 per month. And what this toggle also does is actually dynamically send your user to two different checkout pages. One is for monthly checkout, one is for yearly checkout. So you know the deal. Uh, basically what we need to do next is to make two new pages, okay? You can duplicate the checkout page that we did last time, which is what I did, um, and name them differently. One is checkout hyphen monthly, and one is checkout hyphen yearly. And then plug them in here. So checkout hyphen monthly, forward slash checkout hyphen yearly. So then based on what the user toggled here, um, this get started button is going to send them to um, a specific, uh, no, respective checkout page. Okay, now let's configure our checkout page. Uh, the checkout page, if you duplicate it from the checkout page, uh, the one-time checkout page, uh, what you need to change, first of all, um, I just renamed it. I named it monthly subscription. I gave it a price of 10 because it's monthly price that we put in the pricing table. And then for interval, I specify this is a monthly payment. And for product right now, uh, don't select anything yet because we haven't made a product in Stripe yet, which will come back later. Uh, and then after they pay, they're gonna go be uh, redirected back to uh, homepage. And then for the yearly one, uh, it's pretty much the same drill, except you just name it. Uh, I just named the yearly subscription. You can name it whatever you want uh, and change the price to the yearly price. And also very important, change the interval to yearly. And then here also leave it out for now because we haven't made a product. Um, and then basically the rest of the setup is the same. It's gonna go, go back to homepage. Now um, let's come into our Stripe site to make the product. So right now you can see this is the test product that we make uh, we made for the last tutorial. So we're gonna add a product. Oh, before we start actually, make sure your test mode is on uh, if you are following exactly what I'm doing because I'm using a test key. Uh, but if you're using a test mode, don't forget to toggle it off and then remake uh, the product in live version of your application. Okay, let's add a product and then make it um, subscript, sub yeah, subscription product. Uh, so I'm just gonna name it subscription product. And then for the pricing information, um, we're gonna do 10, um, I just keep it consistent, 10 USD, because that's what we did in, on the software side. Recurring, monthly. 
And then we're gonna add another price, which is 99 USD recurring yearly, okay? So now you have successfully made one sub uh, subscription-based product with two different pricing. One is monthly pricing, one is yearly pricing. Uh, that's all good to go. And then we can just save this product. Now, if we refresh on the software studio side, and then we're currently on the yearly checkout page, yearly checkout page. And then now we can plug our newly made product in. So with integration, software can actually uh, just automatically read whatever that the product that's on your software side. So as you can see, it now it's kind of showing me both pricing for the, on, for the same product. So because this is a yearly checkout block, I'm gonna plug yearly subscription product in here. And then on the monthly side, I'm just gonna plug monthly subscription product here. And then that's all ready to go. And let's hit publish. And I'm gonna show you the, this, the very simple flow, how that's gonna work out. So basically this is the pricing page that your user is gonna first see. And then by toggling between these two, they're gonna see different prices, right? One is yearly price, one is monthly price. So if they now on the monthly price, they click on get started, they're gonna be redirected to a monthly checkout page. But if you are actually on a yearly pricing, this button is gonna dynamically send you to yearly subscription checkout page. And then if the user input their card details, subscribe here, um, they are gonna show up here on the Stripe side, on the subscriptions. Yeah, uh, there you have it. This is how to make a subscription-based product on, on Stripe and also integrate it with your software application. And this is how your user can check out, can subscribe to your product under different subscription model, yearly or monthly. Uh, let me know what you think. If this video helped, give it a like, give it a subscribe, share it with um, your uh, friends who also build with software. And also leave a comment down below what else you want to learn about software. I'm always looking at your comments or even DM me uh, the topics that you want to learn. I'm always looking for new topics to make, new tutorials to make to help the community. So yeah, um, until next time, ciao.